Hi everyone, this is Nona again with The Aligned Lover and I am here to do another Kibbe style analysis on the lovely Sofia Vergara. So if you don't know, she is considered by many to be a soft dramatic, which I thoroughly agree with. She has that long vertical line, the angles with the soft yin undercurrent. She's very busty, she has big hips, she's very round curves to her body but she does have that long vertical line strong angles and she has that very sensuous look to her she's very womanly so kibi kibi style analysis on this for the dramatic the soft dramatic you want to make sure you stick to long vertical lines that really help accentuate the beauty of being so tall, I am 5'3", okay, I do not get to exercise that. Um, you also want to help accentuate the, the angles of the body, those curves and that yin undercurrent with form-fitting clothes that really highlight the bust and the hips and the waist. You want a lot of waist emphasis. You want to stay away from shapeless forms and you want to use nice theatrical detail, glamour. This is the very glamorous Kibbe type. So we're going to start off with some of her less flattering looks according to her Kibbe type. So if you would like to look at my screen with me, here we have Sophia in this rather shapeless dress that is doing nothing to highlight her wonderful figure. You have a very shapeless long vertical line here that really cuts her off at not her widest because she's widest at her shoulders but somewhere along her arms that really drags down her upper body and makes makes the rest of her look heavier um you have no waist emphasis and you get this strange tailoring um at the the arms here that aren't creating any rounded shape, not a very rounded structure. It just adds to the extra baggage of this dress. And then you have the lack of tailoring at the waist and at the, the legs here. So you don't get to highlight her figure at all. Also, her shoes are extremely geometric. They're just very bold, sharp rectangles rectangular straps, there's no curvature, there's no rounded sensuality to this. Um, also, she's wearing a body full of checkers, there's no contrast with the color. Um, it's just blue and white, very light, so you don't get any theatrical drama from that. Um, it's just a whole washed out blue and white checkered dress that does nothing for her figure. Um, and then the dress doesn't match the bag. The bag is, is actually more interesting. It has these really nice, loud details that would look wonderful on a pattern as, as her actual dress. But alas, it is the bag and it is a very natural bag. You know, this, this is a bag that will look better on a natural, you know, this is just not structured and refined and glamorous enough to really highlight her body type. All right, let's move on to a casual look here. We have Sophia in a t-shirt. Um, the t-shirt's not too bad. It highlights her body pretty well. You know, you can see her curves. Um, the thing is that when you're soft dramatic, you really want to stay looking quite polished and it's hard to look polished in this very sheer top with not a lot of structure to it and then you have the ripped baggy boyfriend jeans that just drag her down and make her look heavier and kind of erase her lovely figure and then you have those very bulky shoes you have these two shades of blue that don't really match and then the big pop of red it's high contrast in a way that's just not matching very well. 
Okay, we have another casual look here. This one's a little bit better. Um, here we have Sophia in another rather t-shirty casual long sleeve. It doesn't have that much structure, but at least it has the rounded um, hemline or the neckline here that adds a little bit of yin. It eludes the yin undercurrents. And then you have a, a bit more of a sheer but light kind of wash overall it's a bit more consistent you have ripped jeans yes but they are more tailored more form-fitting they have the nice fade that adds more curve to her leg and her shoes are you know they're delicately strapped and then you have the nice curvature of the toes um it's not the best, but it's getting better for a casual wear. Here we have a look that is pretty good. You know, you have the nice long vertical line here with a one unified pattern. Um, you have the rounded chest here and the thin straps that further emphasize her bust. You have a form-fitting shape here that flounces below the knees and adds a little drama and flavor. It's a lovely dress. The one thing I would change here is the pattern. Um, I would go for something bigger, a pattern with more big round shapes rather than these tiny ones. Um, and then I would change the shoes. I would go for something a little bit more round. They're a little too tapered for this look. When you have a very round pattern on your dress and you choose shoes that they're nude, but they have these very bold, thick straps and the, the shoes that are quite triangular, it's not the most consistent. And of course, this is a style analysis video, so we're being unnecessarily nitpicky. Okay. Here we have another casual look that I just don't think works at all. Um, the scarf for one is a little too geometric and flat. It's a bit harsh. Um, when soft dramatics wear scarves, you want to make sure that it's soft, it's flowing, it's it's too tight on her. It, it, it's very geometric and symmetrical. You know, you, you have this like tight choker kind of structure going on here with a two very long vertical straps and it's just not really adding to the the curvature of her butt it's kind of hiding it um there's no waist emphasis here and um the the ripped jeans in such a light wash with a lack of you know tailoring this boyfriend jean like just is not what's good for a soft dramatic type you want to go for a darker jean and maybe a nice high-waisted shape with some flair at the bottom. It would look beautiful with some rounded pumps. Here we have another casual look. She has a nice drapey fabric. It's very lightweight looking. It looks like it flows a lot. So that's adding quite a lot to the sensual look. Oh, my earring just fell off. Um, it's, it's flowing, but it has no waist emphasis. So I'm sure from other angles, they would just look very bulky. Uh, again, the jeans, the ripped jeans without the tailoring and the thick, harsh straps of the shoes. It's just, just not consistent with her, with her overall silhouette, her body type. So now that we've covered some bad looks, let's look at some of her glorious, wonderful, beautiful looks and stare at her. Okay, here. We have a beautiful look where she's wearing something very vertical and form-fitting. You know, you really see how tall Sophia is here. She's got a long line and her pattern is very bold. You know, the, the small details can be a little overwhelming, but overall, I think this is a nice fabric for her. It's very flowy. It's light. It's drapey fabric, but it's a form-fitting dress with a nice curvature, especially at the bust that really emphasizes, emphasizes her nice curvy chest line. 
here we have Sophia um, in a glorious little headshot here. Uh, I just wanted to highlight how wonderful she looks here and how representative this look is for the soft dramatic glamour. You have those big rounded curls that are still very structured. They're very vertical and long, um, but they're very, very tailored and smooth and well-groomed. Um, you have this very loud but sensual jewelry that not a lot of looks other types can pull off, but the soft dramatic has the structure and the balance of yin and yang to really carry such a bold piece of jewelry. It's geometric in a very curvy, feminine way. You know, there's a lot of bold detail, but it's not too sharp. So it flows really well around her and then it emphasizes her, her nice chest area even more. And her, her very rounded um, neckline here is just beautiful. It really emphasizes her bust. Here we have a beautiful casual look. Yes, I would call this casual, especially for the soft dramatic. Um, unfortunately, you just don't look as good wearing like very nonchalant, whimsical clothes like a soft gamin would when you're soft dramatic you have a bold tall womanly figure and um things just look different so um, we have this really wonderful vertical line and then you further emphasize it with the color blocking the vertical color blocking it works wonders to make that line look even longer and then the silhouette look even curvier and um you have this beautiful form-fitting jacket and then the nice curves um and scrolling down her shoes you know they're pretty they're pretty fitting they have the angles and the curves so overall this is a wonderful wonderful look on her i really love this look it's hard for <laughs> many types to pull this off but she has the length to really pull off this very bright skirt with the rounded pattern going on it's very bold and bright and dramatic the big flare at the bottom that further gives balance to her busty, you know, upper half that is even more emphasized with the flouncy um, little detail, the flappy detail at the chest. Um, you get the nice tailoring at the the um, below the elbows that further structures this whole look. It's very form fitting. It's bold. It's it's just a very nice look. That's my alarm. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, here we have another wonderful look. You just get a lot of waist emphasis. You can see so much of that beautiful hip line. The bust, I mean, she has an amazing womanly curvy body with all these angles and all the vertical height you could want. And uh, she shows it off here. And... Um, it's just, it's just wonderful. Like, it just looks great. Here's another one. They look amazing in these mermaid cuts that really emphasize how curvy and angular they are at the same time. You get these nice X cross straps that really emphasize the angularity of her shoulders. And then you get that round cup at the, the chest with the, the little peekaboo here that just brings so much attention to the contrast between how curvy she is and then how angular her bones are. And then it's all balanced out by looking very unified in this gorgeous shade that really makes her look like a statue, a statuesque mermaid. Here is a casual look that I am in love with. You know, she really pulls this off wonderfully. Um, even though it kind of screams more like natural to me. Um, she has that nice waist emphasis here, unlike the other looks. Knotting a t-shirt at the waist can do wonders. Can completely transform your outfit. This is a more high-waisted look for the, the pants, and it looks a bit more unified, dark wash. Sure, the bottoms 
the cuffs are a bit bulky and they're not super tapered, but the contrast between the, the top of the denim, the darker wash and the, the inside rolled up bottoms gives it more of a tailored look, despite how bulky and big the cuff size is. Um, the nice sleeves that cut here help create the vertical line on her arm even with such a short span of fabric that helps bring this attention to the rounded width of her shoulder and bust line. So this is a really nice um, casual look for a soft dramatic. <clears throat> she pulls that off really well. Uh, I just, I am in love with this rounded cup here. I think it works beautifully. And then you have the unified color and that big bold pink. <clears throat> It's very form fitting and <clears throat> it's just a lovely silhouette and it's all tied together tied together with that bold feminine chunky jewelry that's very very theatrical. In here she's wearing black. Um, not too many looks where she's in all black. She looks really wonderful in color, as do a lot of soft dramatics. Um, she has the cupping. It's, it's okay, it's, it's more of a round dart. It looks more triangular than round, especially when it's right next to her very rounded um, breasts. And then you get these straps here that are, they're quite sharp and they're very geometric. This is a very geometric look. It would look better on a, like um, a dramatic classic <clears throat> or dramatic. Um, I just wanted to throw this in at the end because we were looking at so many wonderful dresses and I just wanted to note how um, not all unified long vertical looks scream soft dramatic. You have to have some more roundedness, some sensuality, some, you know, very thoughtful emphasis on making the shoulders and the chest the highlights at the top instead of kind of squishing it down and trying to comp compact it like in this look. It's, um, she looks a little restrained here and you don't want the soft dramatic to look restrained. It's not a restrained body type. It's very expressive, it's out there and um, that's what makes it so beautiful. It's loud and it's proud. You know, you cannot hide when you're that tall and curvy. You know, you gotta make the most of it. Um, so that was my little video on Sofia Vergara's body type. Um, through the lens of some kibby typing. I hope that gives you a little bit more of an idea of, you know, how she, her body and um, how kibby's rules apply. I think it's just such a good practice to look at different body types and compare their different outfits and then apply it to yourself to see what you want to emphasize on yourself and how to get certain looks using different tools. You know, everyone can look elegant or sexy or cute and playful. They just need to use different shapes and fabrics and patterns to get there. So um, I hope you all have a great day. I will do a video on an example of a soft classic next. And um, yeah, please uh, let me know what you think, whether you agree or disagree. I love chatting about this stuff and I'm still learning so much myself. So, all right, till next time, have a great day, bye.